My name is Gaia Athena and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the cock and het lijk op retour by AC Baantje. This is part of the Baantje series and I would tell you which book it is, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't say that on this book, which usually means it's an earlier one, so I will look it up for you. 28. Um, so this is book 28 in the series, um, the author has written a lot of them. Um, he passed away some time ago. The very newest ones are written by other people um, based on TV show episodes. But anyway, um, the book series was there first. Um, so these are written by Asse Baantje, as it says here. Um, I've read quite a few of them, um, but also still have some to read. This is also one that I picked up. And I, I, I think I picked this one up because... Um, so I've gone through the series, like, I'm, I don't have all of them yet. I have most of them at this point, of especially of the, like, other than the very newest ones. Because those, those you don't tend to find for, you know, second hand and stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, so this is book 28 and I was, I was thinking I fancied reading one of these again. I used to read these um, several years ago. Um, sometimes once a month um, but then it got very samey to read like specific books because what I would do is that um, of certain books also for example the Babysitter's Club series once a month I would read one or two Babysitter's Club books one Banjo and one from like several other um, like short book books series of authors that I was reading at the time and so that kind of got a bit tedious at the at, at some point so stop with that and find them more anyway it was really fun to read this now um, so this is a detective mystery um, police detective so the author um, was a police officer himself um, so he wrote sorry this book series based on his own experiences as a police officer at the same police station um, takes place in Amsterdam um, a few of them have been translated into English I don't know about this one um, but I know that some of the earlier ones in the series have been translated um, now obviously I have to address for especially for people who don't know um, this um, and I'm pointing on the screen, screen now to the, um, that is the name of the main detective. Um, and as he says himself in Dutch, um, his name is De Kok, which um, with, and he then says C-O-C-K or C-O-C-K, because in Dutch the word Kok is generally written as K-O-K, and that's a chef, uh, somebody who cooks. Um, Anyway, so, but I can see that in English, that might seem a little weird. So that's why I wanted to, um, well, I just thought I'd explain that. Um, so this series of books is about our main detective, the cook, and his uh, assistant, Fleather. Um, and in each book, there is a new, um, usually a murder, um, that they have to solve. And yeah. Um, it's not really important to specifically read these in order. Um, you can kind of just pick up one and the mysteries are usually not related. There are some recurring characters. Um, but like it's more about the mystery and not as much about like the character growth because between each book there's not lots of character growth if that makes sense. O overall of the whole series, um, perhaps a bit, um, but well I haven't read like all of them so can't say that, but it's more about the mystery in the plot and not about the characters, if that makes sense. It's more a plot-driven book. Um, so, yeah, it's more about, like, who is murdered and why, sort of thing. Um, just um, in case. So these all take place in Amsterdam. Um, although I say that, but sometimes it also takes place in other areas of the Netherlands. Uh, but the main police building is in Amsterdam. Now these tend to be quite short, this one is 137 pages 
they're kind of all like that. Here's a list of the first, I don't know, so many. Um, this book was originally published in 1987, um, and this is then a reprint from 19, 1989. So yeah, this was an, an older one. Um, but, and in this <coughs> specific one, um, there is an 18-year-old girl, woman, who would like to um, spend the day with police officers just to see how things work. Um, this radio show picked her and then they asked the police officer if you can spend the day with them sort of thing. So, right, do it. Obviously, something happens and they see a corpse and yeah. Um, so, well, I don't want to say too much because that's it's fun. Um, yeah, I enjoyed this. It was a nice read. Um, and yeah, there is a TV show of this as well, which I have seen some episodes of years ago. Um, not really recently seen any, but I would like to at some point, but I don't get tired a lot, so reading is generally easier for me than watching something. But anyway, um, yeah. So I know that some of the earlier ones have been translated into English, but I don't know about this one specifically. Um, the very early ones in the series are not actually with this person's the main detective. The, the, I think the very first one has a different detective from what I recall. But anyway, yeah, um, I enjoyed reading this. It was nice. It also gave me some nostalgic feelings, even though I don't think I read this specific one before. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!